Hi, and welcome to Conan Exiles Age of Calamities. In this video, I'm going to show you where you can get Thralls for the Cauld Embrace. As I have mentioned in my previous videos, I think it's one of my previous videos, Thralls under a specific faction will always start with the same attributes and growth chances, regardless of their tier. They will just differ in the base HP and the damage multiplier as the tier goes higher. And of course, the perks that they're going to get as they level up. So for both Knight of Imperius and the Sanguis unit under the Cold Embrace, they will have these stats. Let's start with the Captain of the Cold Embrace, T6. The same attributes and growth chance as shown earlier. But with a starting HP of 6,944, damage multiplier 1.98 for melee and 3.66 for ranged. And the commander of the Cold Embrace, T7, same attributes and growth chances with a starting HP of 7,750, damage multiplier of 2.14 in melee and 4.34 in ranged. Onto the T8, Imperious Knight, the same attributes and growth chance then again, but with a higher HP of 8,680, damage multiplier, melee 2.48, range 5.04. And the T9, of course, the Master of the Cold Embrace, same base attributes and growth chance, but with a staggering hit points of 10,168, damage multiplier 2.7 for melee and 6.4 for range. And onto the Sanguis unit, let's start with the Sanguis Assassin. She is a T7. There is no T6 for the Sanguis unit. She belongs to T7 with the Archer and the Mage. The same attributes and growth chance. The plus 12 is for the armor that she is wearing right now. Uh, she starts with 7,750 HP with a damage multiplier of 2.14. Range 4.34. Next is the T8 for the Sanguis unit, the commander. Same attributes and growth chances, but with a higher starting HP of 8,680. Damage multiplier of 2.48 for melee and 5.04 ranged. And the highest, the T9 Sanguis superior. Same attributes and growth chance, but with T9 HP of 10,168, damage multiplier 2.7 melee, and 6.4 ranged. So in an early game, there is a spot here in L5, right here on the map, where you can find T1 to T2. Uh, there will be like six in combination of T1 and T2, and there should be one profession thrall with them so there we go that's a t2 footman and okay the profession thrall with them is a lumberjack and you have some t1s as well the squire of the cold embrace so this is perfect for early game if you want a cold embrace thrall but just take note that the cold embrace is aggressive unlike the stormhold and the elven faction so the first location where you can find a single spawn point for a T6 to T9 Cold Embrace um, Fighter Thrall is right here in the Sandswept Ruins. Um, for those who are familiar with this place, you need to fight these guys right here. They're quite painful, so be careful if you are still low level. And you just go straight ahead. So this is a very familiar place for those who have um, finished the Conan Exiles Vanilla um, world where you come here and then you purchase a scourge stone so that you can remove your bracelet and free yourself from the uh, slavery of the exile's land. So again, be careful because cold embrace camps are aggressive. All of them. So the only spawn point for a T6 to T9 is right here on the left. As of the moment, we have the Imperious Knight, that's a T8. And also, you can find some Crafter Thralls or a Dancer or Performer in that spot where the Taskmaster was. And talking about being careful, we have 
bunch of T5 fighters, a combination of soldiers and archers. So it's gonna hurt a lot if ever you come here alone. Right here is the vanilla NPC where you can buy the Scourge Stone Petruso so that you can remove your bracelet and then you can go, you know, beyond the green barrier. And this guy in black robe where you can also buy the demonic blood eyes aesthetics if you want that. You know, just uh, a price to pay. Come in here, getting swarmed by all the soldiers for the aesthetics. All right. And the last one, and of course, considerably the most difficult in my opinion is the one in the unnamed city now there are several ways to go in the camp but let's talk about this one first so this is the eastern entrance to the cold embrace camp so if you're looking at the map the bridge is crossing from here to that spot so if you take this route, you have to fight through the Van Gul uh, soldiers behind me and also there will be two uh, Servants of Wraith. Sometimes it's red and blue or blue or blue. Both red and red makes it, to make things worse. And at the end of the bridge, you will be welcomed by two hooded figures, two Xenarises, mini bosses. And not only that, you will have a bunch of soldiers behind them with one officer so it could be a t6 7 8 or 9 waiting for you you know just to jump on you and asking you why you're there for whatever reason now just follow the path here and you will see one Xenaris patrolling the area so there will be like three of them all in all so just be careful because in my experience, when one attacks you, the other two follow. I don't know if it's by design, but that happens all the time. There's also one spot here where you can uh, check on potential T6 to T9. Sanguis Assassin's unit. They're so easy to spot. And the only named Taskmaster is also here. It's a guaranteed spawn because she's the boss. And the spawn point for the T9 or the T8 and T9 for the Sanguis units. This is the only spot where they spawn. No other camps. Now, in one of the instances that I came here, I was lucky enough to find a spawn, a very rare spawn of an armorer. A named armorer, Lucia Rose the Weaver. So that's where you can find her, and also she can spawn in any of the spawn points for the Sanguis Assassin. So this time we have the Performer. So again, it's either T8 or T9 in that spot right there. Now there is another way. Here we go. So from the desert, and then you have to go through these guys right here. Let me show you. All right. So from afar, you will only see some specters, you know, walking around. That's quite easy. You know, you can deal with them very easily once you're already high level. But that's not the case. All right. As you can see, this place has, and if my counting is correct all the time, four to five Scourge Reapers lurk around this place. Now, they are not friendly with each other. That's why they're fighting. And you're probably, you know, you can probably hope that the skeletons and the specters would win, but no. Right? And the way to go inside is not that easy because of those two spikes at the side of the ladder. There we go. See? That's that's going to be a problem. Because you cannot go up straight. And sometimes it will force you to, you know, just drop. And you have to climb again. And if you are not in cloak mode, 
you can you can only imagine what's gonna happen. So once you get in the camp, right here, you just have to jump off the wall into the camp. There will be three frost hounds, the welcoming party. They're not friendly, so um, their aggro radius is very, very short. So you might think that they're friendly, but once you get near them, they're going to attack you. Alright, so you just go straight, and then there, you can see the, the path that I was um, following earlier. And you just have to watch out for the um, Zainaris or Zinaris. And make sure that you don't get his aggro. So, what I'm trying to do this time is to check if I can easily just go on top of the crates. Because this is one of the, the spots where you can cheese them um, if ever you want it to, you know, to be easy. But uh, I tried this one time and it was not easy because... Once they're already attacking you and you're getting hits, it's almost impossible to, to move even. So, if ever you're planning to get Thralls or to raid the place for resources or um, mine the nodes, then make sure that you bring your whole squad with you or at least a considerable amount of people raiding the place now if ever you're able to manage to knock down uh, a fighter thrall or any of the crafter thralls that you want to get um i haven't found any other way aside from you know the bridge if you've found uh, an easier way please let me know in the comment section down below um, but so far, the only way out, if ever you're dragging someone from this camp, is through the bridge. So, I think it's advisable that you bring your horses in, and then you just ride off. And just let them chase. Anyways, uh, from the bridge, you're able to cross through the, the war front, and then you're already outside of the unnamed city. Now, I found a an exploit, I think, or a sneaky way in. And where you don't have to fight the guys guarding the, the wall. And also you don't have to fight the guys guarding the bridge. And I will put that link in the description below. Because I don't want to include it in this video. Because I'm not sure if this is something that is official. Or if this is an exploit then they might fix it in the future. And that is all for this video. If you find this guide helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to see future guides and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.